So, it's so in Canada, that woman in the black T-shirt is an Islamophobe. Okay. Okay. She's accusing so, political leader Jugment what, Singh what in the yellow is, turban of promoting is, Sharia law. We don't want to be intimidated by hate. We don't want hatred to ruin a positive event, right? We don't want hatred to ruin a positive event. So let's show people how we would treat someone with love. We welcome you. We welcome you. They are cheering love endures. We love you. We support you and we love you. We support you, we love you. We all here, everyone in this room, everyone in this room loves you. We all support you. We believe in your rights. At one point, when two of Singh's supporters approach the woman, the candidate and his staff tell them to move back. It's okay. It's okay. We're not worried about this. This is okay. We're not worried about this. It's okay. We're not worried about this. We're okay. His record shows that Singh does not promote Sharia law, and he's not even a Muslim. He's a Sikh. Let her just speak as much as she wants. It's okay. We have no problem with it. But he didn't mention the distinction. Quote, I purposely didn't go down that road because it suggests their hate would be okay if I was a Muslim. We all know it's not. I didn't answer the question because my response to Islamophobia has never been, I'm not Muslim. It has always been and will be that hate is wrong. You know, growing up as a brown-skinned, turban-bearded man that I faced things like this before. It's not, it's not a problem. We can deal with it. There's going to be other obstacles that we're going to face, and we're going to face them with what? With love and courage. Whether facing hate with love and courage is naive or wise, in Canada, the effort has become increasingly popular. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. For the past four years, Jagmeet Singh has been the leader of Canada's new Democratic Party. The NDP is to the left of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's. It's similar to the political position in the United States of progressives compared to centrist Democrats. And like progressives in the United States, Singh's new Democratic Party in Canada is focused on wealth and equality and taxing the rich. Thanks to his policies and his approach to detractors, political analysts say Singh has become a Canadian political rock star. In the most recent elections, he helped increase his party's number of seats in Parliament. And with Prime Minister Trudeau's Labour Party falling short of the majority needed to lead the House of Commons, Singh will be a kingmaker in Trudeau's government coalition. Singh is just 42 years old, and a lot of people in Canada think that someday he will be Prime Minister. Of course, all of this, including his religious faith and political beliefs, make this woman's Maybe interruption even sillier. She could have easily Googled Singh, but apparently Around even in Canada, diversity. conspiracy theorists abound and do not believe in basic facts. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, here's another. Even if Singh was Muslim, most Muslims don't believe in Sharia law or think it should be forced on anybody. The fear of Muslims, though, probably stems from the fact that if the shoe was on the other foot, a lot of Christian conservatives would love to force people to practice their form of Christianity, whatever that would be called. In any case, Jugmeet Singh is a class act and a great dynamic speaker. He seems to have the coolness and sophistication of Barack Obama with the empathy and values of Bernie Sanders. Keep an eye on Jugmeet Singh. He and his progressive movement in Canada have a bright future.